Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. On the last episode, I went to an abandoned hospital where I found a vampire that actually eats people as opposed to drinks their blood, and took care of a ghoul that was going to expose the masquerade. And I'm going to report that I've done that last task right now. What's up? I took care of the patty problem. Ghouls ain't nothing but trouble if you ask me. It's a weakness. You know what I'm I'm always down with the Anarch cause. See ya. Alright, so I've almost I'm almost ready to go to the Elizabeth Dane, that's the main quest. What's up? Just wanna ask you a few more questions. Sure thing, kiddo, fire away. Uh about the Camarilla. Oh, my favorite topic. Tell me about Prince LaCroix. Ah the hell with LaCroix. I blasted better vampire brains all over the wall. He's not the prince. He's a prince. You've dealt with princes like him in the past? Ah, he's a typical Ventru asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. What do you know about the sheriff? Oh, the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped-up gorilla. Piece. Oh, well, I just wanted to show that part. I'm not gonna ask him about the Sabbat, though he mentions that they're kind of like uh, Three Stooges with chainsaws or something like that, which is eh, it's a pretty hilarious description of them. But now I need to go back to Santa Monica onto the beach, and I will be able to climb onto the Elizabeth Dane. But first, look at all the damn experience I have. It's time for level 4 celerity. Because, hey, it just wasn't powerful enough. It's ridiculous. I... I had no idea Celerity was as good. It's really the best ability in the game. I think I can safely say that. A close second would probably be the... What are they? The, uh, Tremere last spell in their blood magic causes one person to float up in the air and then explode, and everyone around him also takes damage. So it instantly kills one person and damages another one. And there are two powers that can instantly kill a whole bunch of humans. Hop in. Just a second. The reason why the Tremere's power is so good is because you can uh, explode a human next to a vampire, and then the vampire gets damaged also. None of the other high-level instant death things work on vampires or bosses, really. Except for that one because it creates a little mini-bomb right next to him. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with my strategy of playing Hitman. Mainly, I'm going to try to do things right, I'm going to try to be stealthy, I'm going to try to not create a bloodbath, however, if I do, I'm not resetting. Sometimes things go wrong and you just gotta deal with it. If Prince LaCroix doesn't like it, too damn bad. I'm an anarch now. Don't list, need to listen to his ass. Silent seagulls. This place always lags. I don't know why. Oh, look who it is. Hey, you. Hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. What are you doing out here, Mercutio? I just wanted to make sure you knew my appreciation. And like I said before, someone needs something, I can get it. This boat, for example. I might need some equipment for this trip. Probably not, unless you have an awesome melee weapon. And you don't. You just have guns. Gun ammunition, and that's about it. Alright. Let me ask him about Anything something else. Anything I can do for you tonight? Uh, how you feeling? Let's get the pleasant trees out of the way. Are you ready? I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. 
I need some info. Concerning? Weapons. Specifically? How about a sniper rifle? Not easy, even in this country. Military-grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo could take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Oh, the, there's like some lag going on or something. But all right, later on he should have the rifle for me. Not that I really need it, but... Last time I did it, I got the flamethrower, but I think I can also get flamethrowers with Bat Larry, I'm not sure. And I kind of want to see if they have the sniper rifle. It could be cool. Alright, I'm going in. Maybe I should have bought some blood packs, but... Hey, I've gone through most of the game without using blood packs so far. No difference here. Uh, except for the 40 bajillion cops that I'm going to have to wade through. Well, things are probably going to go south right off because I don't have high persuade, but whatever. I'll deal. I kind of wish I had slightly higher hacking, but... I'm going to have to do things the hard way. Try to find the password without it. Yo! Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. What my editor tells me is between him and me. Jeez. What kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. Let's just do this before one of us has to take a swim. Take it easy, Flash. This is still a badge you're talking to. Let's get down to business, Barney. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn Flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep. Got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. Oh, that was convenient. And despite what I said about letting things go to hell in a handbasket, I want to at least do the initial part right, so... I am Heinz saving. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? Uh. He's certainly supposed to move. There we go. I'm a sneaky brew, hot, tall, and strong. that up right at the start. Uh, here. Now, I think eventually people come in here, so I gotta be quick. Uh, report. Uh, right, I don't know what that's all about. Log. Uh, that's not right, huh? Damn. 
Hacking attempt six. No way in hell. I did type it right, right? I wasn't paying attention. No, that's not it. Damn. Oh, it's the password to this, huh? What the hell's that gonna do? Uh, deck cams. Oh, unlock doors, that'd be good. Alright. There we go. Start engines. Why? I have no idea. Let's do it anyway. Alright. I don't know what that does at all. Reports. I need to get the crew manifest. I know that, but... I don't... Oh, but this I need to hack into. Alright. I, I think I get the crew manifest by hacking into the logs, but... I, I don't have enough hacking to do that, and I, I'm not going to get enough experience to do that before I get off, so... You know what, I'm going to look around a little bit so I can do this right. I'll be right back. Alright, I found the manifest. I'm pretty sure you can get it by going to the log also, but not necessary. Instead you can just go in here and yoink. Alright, well, now I need to go and investigate the sarcophagus, and at no point, excluding the time that I was a Malkavian, have I been able to sneak past all of the guards. And I just tried a little, uh, you know, practice run. And, uh, well, oh, they shot me because I was stupid, I must say. But I can definitely make it over there without dying. Uh, simply because I have celerity. I mean, they can hardly even hit me. So as long as I keep on moving, And my celerity doesn't run out. That's really important. There's the art car and sarcophagus. I've investigated it. Oh, I'm stuck. Getting the hell out of here. Oh, I can't jump over those boxes for some reason. I'm on celerity. Don't fail me now. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, uh oh. I'm gonna frenzy if I'm not careful. Hell, I might frenzy even if I am careful. Open faster. Oh, of course. I'm in I'm still in celerity. <laughs> That's why it's opening so slowly. Oh man. Come on, open up. I could disactivate celerity, but I don't have enough to make it activate again. Alright, it'll be fine. I won't drain him. I just need enough. So that I don't frenzy and flip out and kill everyone. Corrupt cop guy. Come on. Up the ramp. Up the ramp. You can do it. What is going on? Go up the damn ramp. <laughs> wow, I did it. I got the crew manifest. And I did it without killing anyone. I didn't do it without them all seeing me. But, hey. All in all, I think that's a win. Whew. All right. Awesome. Well, let's report back to the prince. All right, back downtown. Hey, uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? It's the girl from the Someone hospital. Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night because I just wanted to. I'm in your debt. I want to help you. 
I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Alright, so this is the girl I saved in the hospital. If I want to, I can make her my ghoul. I suggest doing it, because hey, extra storyline. Heather, you shouldn't be here. Wait! Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything, just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Oh man, did I make a mistake. Heather, I only did that to save your life. What do you mean? You're like... You're like... The effect you had on me made me want to live. It's all because of you. You saved my life. Please, let me be of use to you. I'll do whatever. I don't care. If you must, fine. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be... <sighs> important to you. Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's too dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. Creepy. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Do what you want. Goodbye. See how there's consequences for every action in this game. She is now partially blood bonded to me. And, I don't know, I was never totally clear on the concept of blood bending in the masquerade role playing game, so I'm not sure I can explain it that much. But, let's talk to LaCroix. But now she will be back at the apartment, and she can get me stuff and whatnot. Evening, Chief. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Sure. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little... different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. Thanks, Chuck. Or Chunk, whatever the hell your name is. Alright. Now for the world's fastest elevator. I've said all I need to, for now. Got Maximilian Strauss, and, uh, okay. I don't recognize any of the other guys. A save Alright. What's the haps, Paps? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus? What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate that it's opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. What was that all about? Those were the primogen. This city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into, and have him contact us. A house call to a goddamn shut-in? I want action! This is ghoul work! Every problem that's brought to me has to be dealt with. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? What's in it for me? I'm solving your problem. What do I get? My thanks. 
and that goes a long way in this city. All right, what do I do? Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I have a few questions before I go, buddy boy. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Does he actually have anything interesting? I mean, it... hmm. oh, what do you have to say about some of the people? Yes. Oh, let's find out about Jack. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge. The physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. One yes. More. Let's find out about Beckett. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Uh, one more thing. Yes? Tell me about the primogen. They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. Sounds familiar. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. Alright, I'm done with you. Alright, so... Do I have any other quests? That one I can't do yet. Uh, that is my current storyline quest. That one I can't do yet. And... That one I can't do it. Okay. Um, on to the main story quest, then. Next time, I will go and talk to this Mal Malkavian primogen and find out why he hasn't answered anyone's calls. I am Cross Knights. Thanks for watching.